welcome to another edition of Pitch Brand Talk. I'm very glad to have with me today Sandra Daniels. She's the Vice President of Marketing for the Women's Category at Modernic Lifestyle. Sandra, welcome to Pitch Brand Talk. Hi, thank you for having me here. Uh, Sandra, I, uh, your cat, your, uh, the brand you look after is Enama, which is probably one of the most well known brands in the intimate, uh, intimate wear segment for women. And you've recently also launched a digital campaign for this. So what can you elaborate on the vision of this campaign and how does it align with uh, your long term goals? Well, I think the core of Enamor, right, is to understand what are the needs of the customer and, you know, service them accordingly. I think what we found is a lot of women using lingerie have a lot of pain points still. And there are, of course, so many brands that are servicing customers today and providing bras of different, you know, silhouettes. But still, there are pain points, you know, women coming back telling you, look, the bra is so uncomfortable to wear, the bra is feeling hot, the bra is feeling heavy, the bra is causing me allergies, the bra is inflexible, you know, these are, uh, these are pain points of the customers, I think. And we as a brand are always trying to address the pain points or trying to service an unmet need. And one of the things we said is, you know, if a regular bra is, you know, uh, the reason for so many pain points for women, you know, can we bring innovations into the, into our conversation? Can we try and address this pain points through innovations? And that is the campaign where you have the bottom technology that addresses the pain points that women have. Uh, for example, women are feeling hot when they wear the bra. And we have the whole entire N9 technology that we bought into the fabric that makes the bra two degrees cooler. So now the consumer is wearing the bra and feeling a lot more comfortable wearing the bra. Then, you know, in a, there are many innovations that we're talking about in the campaign. Oh, the other innovation is the bamboo. The entire bamboo fabric, right, is the softest fabric that you can wear. But besides that, women are allergic to elastics on the bra or uh, allergic to the straps in the areas where the strap is touching their bodies and you know bamboo is actually antimicrobial anti-allergenic you you won't have these pain points if you wear a bamboo bra so uh, likewise we have six other innovations so all of our the, the entire campaign was about you know the innovations and how they can make the bra experience so much more better and it the entire overarching communication is being fabulously futuristic because you're bringing technology now into the lingerie conversation which you know which was not like brands weren't talking about technology and technology is bringing in a lot of solutions to women's problems so yes we think it's quite path breaking in terms of the vision the thought and also the campaign uh, but uh, what type of content have you seen that resonates best with your target audience? And any surprising insight that you could tell me, which you, you know, picked up and you were really surprised by it? Well, um, to begin with, we tried a lot of new formats. It 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 is It was a, a primarily a digital campaign. And... Uh, surprisingly usually when you know it's a reach campaign right you try and reach a, a lot of women we, we reached over 34 million women in terms of just reaching the conversation to them uh this communication i think because it was differentiated it was talking about pain points it was talking about solutions to a pain point uh the one learning that we got is this campaign got a lot of engagements. Women who, you know, liked the campaign, clicked the like button or clicked to find out more about the product. In fact, we had a lot more add to carts on this campaign that we, than we ever have. So I think a good learning is, you know, yes, you can be fashionable and talk about fashion, 
and all and style and all of that but if you're actually giving them a tangible answer to a product or a or a pain point you know they are so willing to interact with your communication click and find out more and i think that 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 was a huge learning for us is if you have a solution to a problem people are seeking and engaging a lot more with your communication and yes of course you know uh, influencers talking about the product talking about the pain point and you know how it can hinder your day to day comfort and then talking about a bra that is innovative in in its thought and how it can make life more comfortable how it can make the bra more wearable how it can give you an enjoyable wearing experience i think that also makes a lot of difference our influencer activations help us a lot yes if would could you elaborate a bit more or give some numbers on the, you know the engagement on the engagement front because you mentioned you had so, really high engagement yeah, time yeah. so if you so, see youtube um, campaigns will get around 5 or 6% engagements on their uh, on the content that they put out this campaign actually garnered us over 25% engagements in terms of likes and clicks and shares so um you know that that was uh, quite eye eye opening for us yeah uh if you could just uh, tell me what is the size of the market that you operate in and what is it's a very very unregulated or rather it's not uh it's not uh, it's an unregulated space and also there is a lot of mom and pop stores who operate in it yes. so what would your market share be in that so you know there to, to begin with this category does not have a syndicated research so you know if i will quote a number it will just just be very random so i i would avoid quoting a number on mob chairs because there is no syndicated research in this category okay uh you know coming back to the campaign uh i want to know what are the current trends that you're seeing within this space and how do the trend reflect in your marketing campaigns so you're talking about the category are you talking yes. about the lingerie category yes um, because any trend which you're seeing and how yes. these trends are influencing your marketing decisions okay two things um people are trying to always premiumization in the category is big when people are bettering the bras that they're wearing they're you know they're using a certain kind of bra they're always looking for something new um uh, something better than what they are using i think that is a trend that we're seeing of course style is very integral to you know your offering yes whatever you offer it should be stylish but people are looking for a reason to buy you how are you better than anybody else is one thing the other important thing is how are you innovating and offering solutions or how are you how well is your brand meeting a need how well is your brand addressing pain points because this category honestly is embedded in a lot of pain points and unsatisfied customers in many ways you know uh, i would think a lot of women haven't found that perfect bra yet that bra that she loves and she would like to wear every day every woman is seeking that and i think if you can be a brand that comes and you know comes out and says look this is how can i can meet your need better or these are the innovations i have that will meet your pain points i think those are the conversations that will engage more with your consumer uh, i just want to take you what you mentioned which is premiumizing a premiumization yeah. how have you seen this evolve and what uh, is that increase in terms of percentage you know premium now uh, is it taking a larger share of the entire uh, larger share of your kitty so you know I, i would think you know it's premiumization is not only in this category i think with across categories i think with women and maybe also with men i think there everybody is always seeking for something new seeking for something better i think it's just the way consumer behaves right because every time i even if we get our loyal customers 
coming to our store, the first thing they're going to ask you is what is new? You know, what new do you have? And everything that is new is always better than the old, right? Better fabrics, better technology, uh, better uh, addressing of, you know, the pain points, the needs of the customer. So, you know, you're, you know, you have the consumers always asking you what's new and therefore, you know, and they're always, you know, they're always bettering what they're wearing. If uh, today they're wearing a certain padded bra, they're always asking for a better pad. Is it lighter? Is it more breathable? Is it more comfortable? You know, those are all always the consumer questions to us. And, you know, as a brand, you want, always want to address that and, you know, service that need. Uh, I I just want to also speak about consumer experience, which is very, very critical in your category, very important because yes. when uh, somebody enters your stores, how do you ensure that the experience is elevated, uh, yes. helping them also, like you mentioned, a lot of women don't wear the correct size of bra. Yes. So, you know, if you could take us because you're educating them also in yes. a sense, would you I speak about that? So um, I'm glad you brought that up because as a brand, um, you know, the one thing we, the one vision we have for customers walking in and out of the store is how can we create this wonderful, fabulous experience for a customer in a category where women are restrained, they're shy to ask the questions and there are so many pain points, right? So creating that environment that is very comfortable and encourages the customer to talk. So our counter consultants are actually trained to give that experience, you know, uh, in terms of, yes, asking for what are the pain points or what are the needs, but also to be able to give a lot of education to the customer. Because, of course, we understand the customer body type. It's important for us to explain that to the customer is, you know, not only is your size important, but the shape of your bust is important. Then to understand what is their lifestyle? Are they working women, non-working women? Are they exercising, not exercising? So what are the bras they should look for for their particular size and body type? What, which are the best bras? And also, I think the whole closing of the loop there, uh, advising the customer, sizing, fitting them, getting them the right bra. But besides that, also talking about, you know, how they can maintain the bra better. How can they store their bra in a way that the bra will last, last longer? How can they wash and care for their bras? I think these are things that customers don't know. And also uh, another aspect is you can buy the best bra for yourself. But are you wearing it right? Every day when you're wearing it, you know, these are the five things you need to check when you're wearing your bra, the five checkpoints. Our girls will tell you that. So, you know, yes, that, that entire experience is crafted by us. And I think our girls are doing their best. And I and that whole journey, right? We've met a lot of customers and customers tell us that they walk out feeling fabulous. And that that's what we've done right is when a customer you know, we'll say, yes, I'm going to come back. I I'm going to get my relative along or my friend along next time. You know, you've done your job well. And I think it uh, really focuses on that experience. So not only do we have great bras that fit well, that meet the customer needs, I think the whole experience around buying the bra uh, is also, you know, what we're focused on. I uh, also would like to know about the e-commerce because uh, in the recent past, e-commerce has taken a big leap. So how is that for Enamel as a brand? And uh, what is, if you could also tell me like right now, what's the ratio between say offline and online and how many stores do you currently have? Okay, so um, in terms of EBOs, if you're asking me for stores, we're currently at 70 and hoping to get to, hoping to get to the number 100, um, very soon. So we want to scale up, uh, our EBOs. Um, these are exclusives too. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Exclusive. These are all yeah. Exclu exclusive. Yeah. And I'm exclusive stores. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in terms of online, yes, it's scaled up a lot. We have our own website. 
um, our, our own D2C website. Uh, we're also available on Amazon, on Mintra, on Flipkart, on Agio, and also currently uh, exploring quick commerce. So yes, it is scaling up and growing uh, by the day. And we're learning, of course, because it's very dynamic, right? Online and we're learning. I think the whole the whole experience that you have for your online, offline customers, how can you take that online? I think that for us is, I wouldn't say a challenge, but that's our vision is, you know, in 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 a channel where there is no touch and feel or there is no fit, you know, how can you create that wonderful experience and uh, replicate your offline experience to the online? I, and I think that's still a learning and that's still something that's evolving for us. But yes, there is a lot of focus there. And uh, um, and yeah, we're, we're growing online. So... And ever growing. I mean, doing well. I was just surprised you mentioned quick commerce. It would not strike me that this is category will be available yeah. on quick commerce. So that's a surprise. Finally, what are your key priorities for marketing and uh, brand development looking ahead? Yeah. Um, I think um, readdressing where the brand is today, right? Um Making it more relevant for the Gen Z, um, younger um, brand that is more relevant, inclusive, um, refreshed. Uh, I'd say also bringing in a lot more glam and fashion into the brand. Because today, it's all about creating an aspiration and a perception, right? Um, you may still sell everyday bras. But you're selling, people are wearing aspirations and I think building uh, more aspirations around the brand. So, yes. Tandra, thank you so much for your time. It was a very insightful discussion with you. Thank you, Simran. Thanks for having me.